How's it going, everyone? My name is Cornship, and as always, welcome back to Vision Quest. We're with my favorite group. I'm just totally enjoying part three so far. If you've seen the other parts, I don't know why you wouldn't have if you're watching this. Yeah, just totally having a great time. I haven't been miserable at all. If you can't tell, this is sarcasm. It's been a bad time. I did notice while editing the last video, which hasn't gone up yet as of me recording this, so if any of you left comments about this, I haven't seen them yet. But I noticed while editing, I probably could have saved Surya if I just used the dang light rune that I had, that Kajon has right now. I probably could have saved him if I just dropped a light rune down, but I didn't think of it at the time, and now he's dead. But it, it is what it is. I mean, I have a lot of axe units to back that up, like Kier and now Steina. And I mean, Wally can use axes. So, and the next, the new unit I'm getting can get axes. I'm just gonna jump in. I don't really have to do a lot of prep when teams just start. There's a Wyvern Rider protecting those villagers. We must rush to his aid. If all the citizens survive, you will get a reward. Well, if they're anything like the chickens, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so, yeah, we get a new guy that can use axes too. So lots of axe users on this team. This is Onderdonk. Kind of a strange name, if you ask me. A mercenary from Nevin, simple and caring. He's a wyvern lord, so he's someone I might have to rely on a lot because this team sucks. And he has... Pusence? I don't know how to say that, but... He gets more damage if his strength is higher than the enemy, so that's cool. And tend to be, or however you say that one. Which, he gets more hit in the void if he's not near anyone. Near any allies, rather. And his stats are alright, except for his resistance. So he's basically just like Helga. Oh, I can't look at his rates yet because he's not on my team. I went ahead and moved Wally here because he can go ahead and come up here. I guess I'll keep the axe on him. And let's talk to Onderdonk. Oh, you there, knight. Allow us to help you protect these innocents. Hmm, who are you? I'm Chief Waluyo of Kuching, and you are? Onderdonk. I'm a mercenary. I was staying in this village. Nebanese knights came. They threatened to take the innocents. Had to protect. I see. You're an admirable man, Onderdonk. Please, allow us to help you drive off these foes. Hmm, thanks. Kinda like the way he talks. He's a man of little words, at least when talking to people he's not familiar with, because he seemed to be fine talking to the villagers. Now let me make sure I don't have any conversations to do, because so far there usually have been. But it looks like there isn't this time. Maybe if Surya was here, that'd be different. I kind of doubt it. That'd be a little weird. And I don't have any sort of torches or a thief, so I don't have very good vision in the darkness, which I don't really like. So I'm a little scared to send anyone forward, but I also want to see. Like, I feel comfortable with Onderdonk because he's a promoted unit. As long as there's no archers. If there's an archer here, I will probably cry. Well, okay, no archers at least. He has a lance equipped, so he's not great against this guy, but he's okay against this one. And he's probably not going to come after anyone I try to bait over here with. But I could use Steina, Stina. Also, I didn't check supports. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and then another thing. Sorry, I get sidetracked very easily. Someone was recommending I just switch animations to one of these for a chapter coming up. I think it was, they said it was 3-3, so kind of spoiled that there might be a side chapter coming up, because this is just, this is 3-3. I think they said 3-3-X. There's some sort of like monster type enemy or something that I would want to see the sprites of. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Hopefully I don't forget, but knowing me is very possible. And I totally got sidetracked and forgot to look at the sports now. I kind of... Now that Surya is dead, I don't remember what exactly I wanted to do. Like, I think I'm okay with Steina and Cajon, because that's not Cajon. Or Cajon? Sorry if Cajon is not right and it's actually Cajon. It's probably Cajon. I'm an idiot. Duke Cajon. Ah, Steina, how are you doing? It's hard to tell based on your near constant glare. <laughs> I'm alive. That's all I can ask for now. I admire your sense of duty greatly. I'm truly lucky to have you by my side. But you should try to enjoy yourself more. Most women of most in pursue domestic pursuits, and those who fight usually prefer handbows. 
If not that, then a lady blade. I will die before you make me fight with a dainty hand bow. Haha! -ha. Now there is some humor. You're a gem, Steina. <laughs> oh, Cajon. You dummy head or something, whatever. Hopefully there's nothing that's gonna destroy Kier. I mean, I don't... I just have to survive for eight turns. I don't really have to advance. But... Uh, hopefully this doesn't get you killed. Oh, hi there. He's got a torch. I must destroy him. He's also not in great shape for a ruby sword, but oh well. And I kind of doubt you can kill this man. Well, maybe with your brave bow, but then would you be in danger of this guy? Absolutely. I could try to get Kusumo over there. I don't think this will happen, though. And plus, you're going to be disadvantaged because he has a lance. Let's check out... This would put him to 13 health, and then could you do 13 damage? Actually, surprisingly, yes. So let's go for that. Why not? Solid plan. Maybe she'll just rep the club, because she is in the club. I remember that much. She did not rep the club, but it's fine. I'm not bitter. I really don't know what I wanted to do with supports. Give me a second while I try to figure that out, because I don't. I might want to submit... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, do Kusuma and Anisa, but I don't know yet. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do Kusuma and Anisa now that Suri is dead. And maybe this will, you know, boost her accuracy. Anisa, nice shot! That was a little off. That last cavalryman could have fallen on one of our own. I should have hit a little more to the left to knock him back. This isn't the archery range, this is the battlefield. Perfection is impossible, survival is paramount. Striving for perfection in my craft can be done anywhere. The battlefield merely presents new challenges before me. You're starting to sound like Kuda. Well, he was like an uncle to me growing up, and he's dead now. He was the one who introduced me to the bow. Mm-hmm, the Dark Stallion himself. Regardless, Anisa, please be safe out here. I can't keep both eyes on you. Don't worry about me, but thanks. Yippee. Also, I realize the rapier is going to be more accurate than the steel sword. Oh, but it doesn't kill in one hit, and I'd like to avoid damage, so hopefully you can hit a 77. First try. Thank you. Okay, will you make me happy? Your levels have been fine so far, and they continue to be fine. You're gonna be like a glass cannon, essentially, because you're not getting any defense or resistance. And that is why, because your rates for those are very bad. So that makes sense, can't be disappointed with her. I don't really know what I want to do with Bulan. I don't know if there's gonna be a ton of reinforcements from the right or anything. Or, like, if there are any flyers, that could be an issue. And, you know, Nevin might have flyers. I don't really know. I want to have these two support, because I know they have one. That's what I wanted Wally's second support to be, but it hasn't hasn't happened yet. I don't know why. I don't know if it's, like, blocked by a story-related thing. Did the GBA games even do that? I don't know. Shoot, I don't know what to do with her, either, because someone up here is probably going to need heals. So I guess we will go up here. You know, I can't see anything in the darkness, so... I really don't know what's gonna happen. Looks like we got a boss over here. What? Chief Waluyo's men are here too now? This was supposed to be a simple covert operation. Damn you, Horvath. Hold out, man. More reinforcements will come out from all the surrounding forts. Ugh. Let's take care of two objectives at once. Captain Oosterhout? Hmm? What is it, soldier? The villagers escaped with the Wyvern Rider. They aren't too far from here. Do we pursue? As much as I hate it, yes, this is our mission. If they intend to fight us, then we cannot risk defeat. Kill them all. Sir. Damn it all. Killing innocents to prevent loss of face? You're a damned fool. But better a live one than a dead one. And my time is not up quite yet. I'll get this done. Huh, he surprisingly doesn't seem so bad. Oh shoot, I'm sorry, Kusuma. For what I can't see in the dark. And yeah, this is gonna hurt you. Oh, well, not really, but you're probably not gonna hit him. Okay, well, 
I mean, I like when you make me a liar in a way that benefits me. Oh, I kind of like this enemy phase music. Oh, I didn't turn his animations on. I'm a fool. Wow, he hit a 38. Good job, Onderdonk. Okay, they've got some sort of range unit over there. Hopefully the villagers will be okay. Okay, so something spawned already. I mean, at least there are no forts down here. I don't have to worry about that. I just don't know if anyone will, like, peek out of this cave or something. <laughs> I mean, that'd be kind of weird, but... With this game, who knows? Anyway... First off, let's turn his animations on, because I'm a fool. And then I don't know- oh, this is a fort right here, actually. And there sure was a reinforcement. Who should I have you attack? The Lance Reaper. Can't kill. Can also not kill, unless... If I bring him up here... And actually just switch things up. I doubt you'll hit a 62, but... I'll try it. Oh, my. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, they're going for the village, I take it. Oh, this sucks. I just, I just got him in trouble. Ugh. I'm not good at this game. She can't even kill. That's a bummer. Michael can't really help me do anything over there. And your heal's gonna break soon. Which is not very cool. Well, I know Elisa, uh, Elisa. Anisa had a pretty bad level at least once. She's doing pretty well for me, honestly. Oh, you can't reach, darn. Okay, well, uh, I really played myself here. I just wanted the village, man. And now I've got my people in trouble, I think. Is that even worth it? Like, I don't know. I don't think so. This is probably more worth it, right? Assuming you can even kill. There's our black and green boy, Onderdonk, who missed a 74, so... Oh! But then he joined the club. Alright then. Just gave me Whiplash. A Torch Staff. Too bad K Toot's like never gonna get that, because I already moved her somewhere else. Okay, you don't take too much damage from these guys, so I guess we'll do this. If they even hit, and he didn't, which is great. Oh, the one in danger, though, is you, because you have a lance, and they're gonna really hurt. So, uh, I don't know. I can't really do much about that now, though. And I guess I'm gonna have Wally... ...go here. I hate that that doesn't show, because I already know there's someone there with range. I'll keep your Sagaris on. An archer with a heal? Alright. And then an axe boy. Okay. This dude has a sword, so... Oh, I forgot I danced you. Who has the torch? Kusuma has the torch. I don't know if I really like that very much. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, use it. I would like to see... And stay in the forest. Ooh, I put you in a bad spot. Yes, indeed. What else is new for me? Um... I mean, he has a, a, a sword. That's the word. And you couldn't reach, I established, right? Right? 
I guess I'll use your Brave Bow. What a waste. Unless the Sky Piercer... No. Yeah, I mean, I want to kill the dude. Maybe everyone on this team is going to die, and that's just how this team's going to go. I really don't want to put Kier against a mage with his two resistance, but I don't really want her taking the brunt of the attack either. I guess I'm going to have to risk it. We'll see what happens. Oh, man. He didn't dodge. Don't double, please. Oh no. Why are you gonna hit both those 57s when I don't want you to for once? You might have just got yourself killed. And he didn't dodge him. He, he's dead, isn't he? Why are you suddenly popping off? I'm glad you at least joined the club before you died, because I think you're gonna die. He's absolutely dead. Haha, -ha, a rousing bout, but perhaps we took it a bit too seriously. Urk. Am I just playing badly? I mean, yeah, I always do, but like... <sighs> Man... I don't know. Part 3 is rough. For me, anyway. Wow, I'm shocked you're doubling. I mean, this is also a heavy armor guy, but wow. I guess those speed level ups have helped you. not optimistic about this level or this team or anything. If you get doubled, you're probably dead. That one I will take credit for because I acknowledged he has a horrible resistance. Okay, he's not dead yet. But it'll probably happen. Let's be real here. I really just want to get to the village and then and then leave. Now I don't have a Lance user, so that's great. <laughs> oh, that's not true. I have a uh, Underdog. Duh. Underdog who can't kill this mage and would probably die to them. I just want the village. That's all I want. I guess I'll go ahead and put range on you so you can at least fight back. And then run away. Wonderful. And both sides over here need help. Everything is awful. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry if I'm just miserable for this entire chapter. You know, I just... It seems like that's how it's gonna go. I don't want that to be the case, but that's... how it's... gearing up so far. I don't really want to put Kusuma here. These guys hurt her a lot. But she's the one with the torch. <laughs> I 
Oh well. At this point, everyone's just gonna die, and I don't think I'll care. That's not true, because if I get to a point where I can't even proceed in part three, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, I know she's gonna be in range of this Lance guy. Thanks for repping the club, Anissa. You're like, the only one I like right now, kind of. I, I don't care. I really- I'm just- I'm dead inside. <laughs> that's- that's how this chapter has gone. It's killed me. It has killed my soul. I'm like, screwed no matter what I do with Wally because I put a bow on him, he can be counter- wait, doesn't- I guess I took the hand axe off of him, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But oh well. If Wally dies, I lose the Iron Man, I guess, and uh, Cajon comes back. God dang, that really does hurt. If there are any people close in the distance, she's probably dead. Oof, that hurts. Oh, that's a big boy, isn't it? Owie. Oh, come on. Oh, I... why did I not see that happening? Am I dumb? I am dumb. But I mean, it makes me feel better for Wally, at least. Okay, nice crit. Although now the fort's open for a reinforcement, I'm sure. Who can even use light magic on the team? Nobody until I promote K Toot. K Toot! This person has a sword and a lance. Alright, that's rude. Okay, Stina, can you kill this mage with the help of Onderdonk? If he hits a 71, but with my luck, he won't, and then he'll just die. One of my two promoted units <laughs> just dies. That'd be great. Why does he have to be in a forest? I mean, how did your hand axe do? Probably not well. Nope. This is awful. I hate this. I can't stress that enough. How much I absolutely hate this. Can your hand axe kill? <laughs> Yes, if you hit a coin flip. Thank you! Wow. I'm just gonna stick you on the fort, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Not really anything new. I know I haven't made use of his rings either, which is something I could definitely be doing. Alright! The heal is close to you. That's great. That sounded sarcastic, but no, it's actually great. I'm happy about that. Well, if there's an axe dude over here about to get to the village, um, you know, that really sucks, but I'm gonna ditch for now. 
I hate doing any sort of negativity or like criticism or whatever when I play things like this because the developers watch and I don't want to be an ass, but I'm not really having fun with this chapter. Or sorry, this part, part three. Really not having fun with it. And I know that ultimately it's probably just a reflection of me not being good at games like this. Yeah, let's use the elixir, whatever. Wait, does Wally have an elixir? He might. He does. Okay, cool. I guess keep the Sagaris on and elixir up, buddy. And stay right there. No, I don't want the supply. There's like a gnat flying around and it's also not contributing to my mood at all. <laughs> it's very annoying. Okay, and he's gonna use a lance because, of course. Oh, but Wally's gonna get some good damage and then not double. That's fine, that gives a promoted kill for somebody else, hopefully. Oh, the mage is just going after the snag. And you can't even kill it, what a little baby. Lots of reinforcements. Because, of course, there is. Okay, well, you have a torch staff now, so I can just throw you here and be like, Hey, torch. And it gets you experience. And increases your weapon rank. Oh, wow. All right. Why these mages, dude? I guess Bulan would be good for that, but she's not... close. I don't really need her attacking the snag, either. Who has the Dark Tome? I think Kasuma does. Yeah. Definitely not going up there right now. Bulan will just go here since they're gonna keep attacking the snag, I assume. There's a dude here with a longbow, that's- yeah. oh he doesn't move though. Oh, it's cause whoever got on the village. Wow, that's cruel! If I put Onderdonk on the village. Wow. That's just mean. That's so mean. I'm a little sad I can't see the boss. I'm assuming he's on that fort. Freaking gnats flying around again. Okay, Kasuma's still gonna stay there, and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and use the torch again, too, because I just don't care right now. I hate having such a little, like, pissy attitude <laughs> for these recordings, but I'm just so annoyed. I'm sorry that makes for the not good content. Why is your accuracy so bad? Oh, because he's in a forest. I understand that. I guess. You also have you... I mean, you don't really need the experience. But whatever. Guess who cares right now? Not me. Not this guy. I mean, I kind of want to go after this douche. That would have destroyed Onderdonk. Although, you know, I can't kill him, so that's cool. I think I need to get her out of the way. Because if one of them breaks this, the other can stand here and attack her. Which, she probably has a good resistance. So I don't think it'd be that big of a deal, but I really don't want her there anyway. And then I don't really know what else to do with her, though. Who has the heal? Wally? Who got the heal? Oh, she did. And of course, she's blocked by villagers. <laughs> Thanks, little villagers. You're the best. Here. Um, reposition the villager. Why not?
I haven't been using the barrier at all, which is another thing that could have helped me. Well, maybe. No one's died to a mage, so... I guess I'll just take the mend off right now. It's already almost broken. And you're just gonna stay there with your axe, because I don't care. One of them backed off. Why? Can you dodge, please, Wally? Okay, that's fine. I suppose. The snag has been broken. Even more mage reinforcements. Is this guy gonna rush now? This isn't looking good. Looks like I'll need to take care of this myself. You there, soldier! Sir, I'm going in. If I fail, we must escape. Are you ready? I'll prepare the men. But one more thing. Hmm? What's that? Not a lot of men in your station would fight. They'd stand back and let us foot soldiers do the work. I admire that about you. Make sure you come back. There are people here who care about you. Thank you. I hope we can all get out of this mess. But first, we must complete our duty. Be safe, soldier. On my honor as a knight. I like villains, well, quote-unquote villains like this. Like, he's not bad, he's just on the opposite side of the war and is doing his job, really. I'm a sucker for stuff like that. Alright, Bilan, what's your outlook against these mages? They can't do much to you, which is great. So I guess I'll have you stand here to block, and hopefully they'll come frolic to you to fight, even though your flux is gonna break soon. I need to heal up Wally, I need to go to the dang village. Like, once he visits it, he's allowed to move more, right? Because of Kanto. So, I'm gonna do this. We'll see what happens. It's quite late. What are you doing out at this time? May I offer you some supper? Oh, there's a battle. Thanks for letting us know. We'll board up the village. Here, take this as thanks. Cool. Too bad everyone's gonna be dead before I can promote them at this rate. <laughs> I'm sure the men would be great for this, but whatever. Okay, I can maybe have Steina come help. I doubt your hatchet will do much for me if you hit. It's not looking great. But she did it! And leveled. Steina, please keep being my favorite. Yes, I'm okay with that. Speed would have been great, but you got defensive stats and everyone's dying, so I will be happy with that. I don't remember if I complained about this before, but one thing that I like about the Sun God's Wrath that isn't present in most Game Boy Fire Emblem things is that, like, once someone dies, their items are lost. If I remember correctly, in the Sun God's Wrath, if someone died, their items at least went to the convoy. But not in this one. So, like, I lost all of Cajon's stuff, and I lost all of Surya's stuff. And that just sucks. That's all, that's all I got to say on that. It sucks. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do this because then he's just going to be hit by the sniper and that other archer and not be able to counterattack, but also I want to get rid of an archer if I can, especially now that Michael's in danger. What does a bow fight look like? Still in his favor. Let's do it. Oh, why? Wait, did he get hit too? I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy face palming. Have I mentioned how much I hate this group? Because I do. There's a lot of hatred.
Sorry, Michael. Blame Wally for being a fucking loser. Oh. Oh, there are reinforcements from the fort down there, huh? That's great. I'm not joking when I think everyone just might die. <sighs> there goes whatever reward I would have got. Another Earth Seal? Oh no. Cause I'm having a bad time, having a bad time. Got hit by another 48. That should not happen. Please kill me. Oh, Wally might actually die. <laughs> but my people, it wasn't my time yet. K2 it, I'm sorry. Well guys, at this point, I might just have to say that Iron Man is over. Part three is absolutely the worst. Uh, but I officially lost the Iron Man, is I guess what I'm going to say. I'll still play it like an Iron Man. I kind of addressed that before. Um, so, well, I mean, I have to play it like an Iron Man. What am I trying to say? Like, the people that are dead are still dead, except for this. Now that I get to play that level over, Cajon's going to be back. I'm not going to just go, like, throw him to the wolves because he died already. Uh... I just won't be putting Iron Man in the title anymore, I guess, because I lost. I don't really know what that means for this video. But since you're watching it, I'm sure you'll you'll figure that out, even though the corn chip of this moment recording doesn't know what he's going to do. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. I don't know why I said that so weird. I'm back on turn six. This is the turn where right before the dialogue with the boss happened, where he's like, OK, I got to get in there. So he's going to start coming at us. But, uh, uh, sorry if you hear my cat. As usual, she's being noisy. Anyway, uh, Cajon is still alive, which is great. And, um, I have enlisted the villagers to be my fort guards. I didn't get to this one in time, so I'm gonna have to take care of this person. And they have a horse slayer, which is great for my horse units over here. So that's gonna be fun to deal with. But, yeah, it's going a lot better. I still don't like this group at all. But I think it's like a case of the Let's Play curse where, you know, once the camera's not rolling, things went a lot better for the most part. I mean, I also played better, but like, you know, as silly as it sounds, at least, you know, for some people I'm sure it'll sound silly, like you do a lot better playing a game when you're not focused on talking. Um, so yeah, I've made better moves this time. I got to the village, so he has the Earth Seal. The sniper is still there. I have not ventured this far yet. But, yeah, things are going okay for now. I also even used her Nosferatu once, which I hadn't done yet. So, isn't that progress? Okay, I guess first I need to figure out what I'm doing about this person, because this is probably going to hurt. Well, not really. 14 damage? You kind of suck. Please die. Alright, then we can just go ahead and plop down this last villager. No more reinforcements. It's great. Okay, Toot still needs to get the heal from him. Uh, I might just... Go ahead and abandon ship and let him come over here and give her the heal. She doesn't have the torch this time. I actually, I'm sure I picked it up. I think Kira might have it. Yeah, he does. Or no, he has the regular torch. I meant who has the scroll? The, the staff. That's the word. Did I not get a staff this time? The torch staff? Where did that come from? Why can't I remember? Did I look at it? Okay, Cajon, Cajon has it. But yeah, uh, I guess that will come later, because I'm going to get this heal first, and then... Wait, did I not just get a heal? Did I mess it up? I messed it up. Wow, I'm all over the place. Okay, bringing Wally back up. 
I guess I could still get her the Torch Staff if I dance for her. I don't know if that's the move I'm going to make, though. I mean, I can put her here. She's going to have to use the Bray Bow to get any mileage, though. I'm an idiot and kind of forgot the Brave Boat goes twice. Like, I knew it doubled, but for some reason I was expecting a counterattack before she got to do the killing blow. Silly me. Oh, why did I think you were good against axes? What am I thinking? What about your hand axe? Well, that would put you in sniper range, though. Can't do that. Alright, hand axe is still a no-go. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Well, we're going to leave the left side open for now. Don't know if that's a good plan or not. Her flux is going to break soon, and I don't have that new Dark Tome yet, I don't think. It'd be cool if you hit this, but we'll find out. It's not the best chance to do it. Oh, cool. Good job, Ulan. Okay, and she finally gets a level I like. Did she get one before? I don't remember now. I'm just in a constant state of agony with this group. Also, I was thinking about it while playing back up to this point, and the Iron Man is still on once I'm back with Storch's group. Storch has not died yet. Uh, so that group still has Iron Man status. This group does not. I don't see myself using anyone from this group in Storch's group when we combine because you guys know my opinion on them. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's going to force me to use Wally, but I wouldn't actually have to use him. I could just make him sit in a corner. I don't know if I'll do that extreme, but I'm just... I'm just saying. My, my Iron Man for Storch's group is still on, because that group is... That group is Vision Quest to me. This group is not. I don't care what anyone says. This group is not the real friends we made along the way. Sorry, Michael. Didn't know that was gonna happen. What else is happening? Okay, well, I'm gonna... I wanna get the torch staff and throw a torch out. But I can't. Well, I can, but I need to heal, is what I'm trying to say. He hasn't used the torch at all, actually. I kind of forgot about it. Oh, Jesus. That is a lot of people. Oh, God. Well, this was going well. <laughs> Let's see how uh, this plays out now, though. Okay, well, I absolutely want to heal Michael, even though he should just be staying out of the way from this point on and not get hit. I don't want to risk it. Also, the boss man's probably on his way. I don't know if he's on a horse or if he's on foot, so he could be flying in real soon. I don't know. I really don't know how to approach this. My signature catchphrase. Like, this could be a death sentence, putting her here. And I don't want to kill Steina. If someone has to die after the reset, it better not be her. Okay. As always, would have liked some speed, but... Beggars can't be choosers or something along those lines, yada yada. I probably should not have put Bula in here, huh? Who can you support? Kusuma, we're gonna do it, because I hope it gives you enough damage to kill this guy. And we already saw that one in the, the dead run, so... <laughs> Does not give her enough boost to kill at all. That's great. What's the point of supports then, huh? 
Doesn't look like anything changed. What's up with that, huh? What's your resistance like? Six? Like, I could put you over there. And hopefully have you take on a lot of it, but... I gotta figure out what to do here, too. Let's let Cajon get a kill. I hate everything. This is why I lost my Iron Man. A fucking 94 and you missed? Are you joking? You have to be joking me. Hey, can you not miss this time? I'm gonna lose my mind. My mind's already been lost, actually. Can you tell? All right, well, hopefully you can get a crit, or otherwise Bulan's gonna take a whack, and I think she can survive it, but it just sucks, and I don't want it to happen. Thank you. Only one more turn, I tell myself. Well, because that's true, there is only one more turn to go. After this one, I mean. But oh my god. Hey, Onderdonk is in the club. I'm not really... I'm too dead inside to be happy about it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys enjoy my suffering. That can be enjoyable sometimes. I just feel like it's probably more annoying, but... I don't know. I don't really want to do Wally and Michael. I wanted to do Wally and Bulan up to B for a while, but I kind of changed my mind. Because now I want to do... Bulan and Steina to be instead. So I don't remember who I settled on doing the B for Wally. I think it might have been Kusuma. Okay, good thing Ruby Swords don't hurt that bad. Holy crap! Okay, Steina. Was she in the club before? I can't keep track of it anymore. Especially after a reset, I never know what's going on. Oh, I'm surprised you're not doubling, Mr. Wyvern Lord, but okay. Oh shoot, is he dead? Please don't get doubled? Actually, you could just dodge. Thank you. Alright, crisis averted. Well, of course you didn't dodge a 45, why would you? You know, maybe she's gonna die now. The boss is gonna run right up in her face. Well, that's not what I was thi- Oh, that is the boss. <laughs> well, Kusuma's dead. There goes my sword user. That's really bad. Especially because I think someone in the comments was saying she's, like, one of the better units of the group. You can come quietly in chains, or be left here to rot away. But it looks like you've made your choice. I sure did. Chief, I'm falling back. Cover me. Okay, she's not dead story-wise, but... Game unit-wise, she's absolutely dead. Not who I was really expecting to go with from this group. He has a Kaya. Too bad I'm probably not going to be able to kill you because this group sucks. We'll find out. Hey, Wally, can you kill this man? No, you can do some good damage, though. I could give him a strike ring. I think I will. And then I just have to hope nobody dies with this side coming in. Or I could fall back. Because I don't think they can reach any of the villagers. Very close, but no. So... Yeah, anyway, um, let's strike ring and hope that's enough. <sighs> it's not at all. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, all right, it was. Damn, Horvath, you swine, I'll pay for my crimes in the afterlife. Yeah, you also just murdered someone, so I mean, that's another crime for you. Okay, I got the Kaya. Oh, that's just it. <laughs> well, we lost another one, so almost every chapter. Two out of three chapters with this group, losing people. Thank you again for your help. Truly, such bravery. They did nothing wrong. No harm should come to them. 
That's all. So what will you do now? You're clearly quite strong. Would you care to travel with us? We are fighting Nevin. Our goal is to remove them from our lands. I want to stop this war and end needless bloodshed. If we must fight, so be it. I will join you. The innocents cannot be harmed. That is our plan, isn't it? Sir Onderdong, bless you. Thank you. We ride out tomorrow morning. Let's rest here. Chief, please take this as thanks. I forgot about this. We're grateful for our lives. Yeah, please, end the war. Thank you, Chief. You're very kind. I will use it well. Please stay safe. Of course. I, I called that, didn't I? Maybe I should just promote all these people right now. Chief Wally, thank you again for your help. We are indebted to you. There's no trouble at all. I'm glad you're safe. Thank you. Please, let us know how our small village can repay you. If it isn't too much to ask, we'd love to rest here. I will station my troops to provide watch for the evening. Would that be okay? Of course. Please make yourselves comfortable. It ain't much, though. Hope that's alright. Not a problem. Thank you. Oh, we still have some homemade curry left over. Would you like some? Spicy? I'll pass. Uh, as much as I don't want to be with this group any longer, sure. Heart of a Chief? I hope this isn't a mistake, accepting this, because <laughs> it's just prolonging my time with this group. <sighs> Why do I keep doing this to myself? Another sleepless night, jazz cigarette in hand. What is a jazz cigarette? Is this the only way I will ever feel relaxed? Michael? It's quite late. I'm surprised you're awake. Ch chief Well, it's just... The nighttime is peaceful. I've always been something of a night owl. Being a musician and all, you get used to late nights. Hmm, well, you should get some rest while you can. I don't think we'll be able to take another day here. Wait, what's that in your hand? It's a... jazz cigarette. Jazz cigarette? Is this where your music comes from, Michael? <laughs> you must be joking. I'm afraid I am not, Michael. I know you enjoy your Freyungi tobacco. But in Kuching, we don't have such customs. What is so special about this jazz cigarette? It helps me relax. It's a mix of tobacco and another plant. Maybe it's a bad habit, but it does feel nice. When I'm feeling stressed, it just clears my mind, Chief. It helps, like, wash away the worries from my day, all of my yesterdays, and even, well, the days I'll have down the road. Hmm, I see. To wash away your worries. If only for a moment. Intriguing. I can roll you one, Chief. We've been through a lot lately, yeah? May help you sleep a bit better. I mean, like, why are you up? Why are you up even? The rush of these battles. I'm exhausted. Plus, my two best friends kind of just died. I'm weary. Perhaps this mask I wear to lead the people. While many see it as my true face, beneath this mask of mine likes the same fears of any mortal man, Michael. I constantly have doubts swirling in my mind. Fear that each day will be my last. I mean, it did happen. Fear that my actions will only lead us to doom. It did. The way to the people who choose to remain loyal. It is a burden I bear as their chief. I never give this up, but I'd be lying if it... Lay it out for me, chief. Here, try this. Cough. Are these mint leaves you've rolled up? Why is it so tingly? Chief, chief, chief. You're funny, you know? I never saw myself as particularly humorous. Some would even call me stiff, a bore. Perhaps cutting loose would do me some good. That's the chief I know. Your shoulders are always so dang tense. Ease up a bit. It's hard for all of us. You know, like, you don't need to do this on your own. We're all here because we respect you, Chief. We believe in you. Are your compliments truly genuine? Or are those... These those jazz cigarettes talking, Michael? It comes from the heart, Chief. 30 minutes later. It was not until my 13th birthday when Chief Rome gave me an axe to cut down some wood. I much preferred it to the blade and learned it for battle instead. I had heard stories of famous axe warriors and thought, can I too be one of these axe brethren? So, that's how it all started. Huh, wild. You talked a lot about Puda, the Dark Stallion. He's dead now. I didn't know he was like your second father, Chief. Yes, he showed me how to hunt as a youth. When my father passed, he guided me as a young Chief. I am indebted to him to this day for his support. I specifically... or specifically recall this one time. Six years ago. God, I want to be done with this, I'll be honest. Chief, we're nearing the border now. But I can see a few stray gazelle up ahead. This may be our spot for the hunt. Those separated from the pack will be easy to pick off. Thank you, Hindrawan. Stocking up on meat and furs will do us good. Indeed. The herds of gazelle and buffalo will soon move south. Once they're out of our territory, we'll need to hold steady and work through our stores. Yes. After this hunt, I think we will have enough. 
We'll hunt smaller, ga smaller game through the winter. Chief. Gouda, are you well? Oh my god, I'm seeing ghosts. We may have some issues. What sort of issues? Chief Yogia and his men are patrolling the area. It seems they've been trailing the same group of gazelle. Hmm, we cannot afford a border dispute. Chief Rome worked out peace treaties, no? We are still in our own territory, Kuda. Yes, perhaps on paper, but when it comes to the hunt. Especially in times like this leading into the winter ahead. There's no telling what another chief may do. Yes, it would be best not to engage Chief Yogia. The Kaliyaga tribe's history and our own is complex. I have no qualms with Chief Yogia, and <laughs> would not wish to fight him here if possible. Well, Chief, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But there is another potential problem. These gazelle. They are juvenile. They are lost. Some are merely calves. Ill-suited for hunting and immoral for us to slay. They may start heading this way if the Kaliaga tribe gets to them first. Hmm, this is quite the conundrum, then. Chief Yagia may charge our position in pursuit. These young gazelle. They are not the game we should be hunting. We need to help them escape. This does not bode well. Focus, Chief. This is no time for pity. We must act. Yes, you are in charge now. What shall we do? You're right. I cannot allow us to be paralyzed with indecision. We will help the young gazelles flee, and ensure that Chief Yogya does not pierce our borders. Quit saying his name! Chief Yogya! We are enclosing around the stray gazelles. They are quite scrawny, likely juveniles. Do we pursue? While it brings me shame to hunt such small game, without them, our stores for the winter ahead will be sparse. For the people of the Kali Kaliaga, I will not relent. Hmm, very well, Chief. We are encroaching on Chief Waluyo's border. We must be quick if we don't want to cause disturbance. If it comes to blows, be prepared to engage. Chief Walio would fight us for hunting here? If he's anything like his father, he will defend them. Of this, I am certain. Ready the men. If he will not let us hunt, we will force him to back off. Understood? Aye, Chief. So what are my units? Oh, I still get everyone. Okay, that makes sense for a six years ago thing. I kind of thought I'd have uh, Hindrawan and Kuda. Maybe I still do, but they're green. I sure do. Alright, well, that's fun. <laughs> oh, so these are the young gazelle. This is what someone was telling me to turn on animation so I could see them. I hope there's not a reward for saving them all, because I feel like that's literally impossible. I can't get through the map this quickly. Anyway, I lost one of my axe users, which wasn't a big deal. Now I've lost a sword user, which is kind of a big deal, because it sounds like I might not get another one. But uh, anyway, this has been going on long enough. I don't know how this is going to be since I'm going to have to cut for the time I was playing back up to where I lost. So, sorry if this is a long one. Hope you're enjoying my suffering, because I'm going to continue suffering for all of part three, I'm sure. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club, and I will see you all next time. Bye!